No, it's been it's been mind blowing. I expected one thing, and uh, oh yeah, we, I don't know. If that was too <laughs> and far out here, towards the pointy end of the content lifecycle, we are introducing releases. This is a next level release management system that supports scheduling site wide changes or tight coordination of campaigns product releases, etc. It also simplifies working on long-term content updates while still being able to get smaller tactical edits out. It's like time traveling version control for content. Hi, uh, my name is Evan and welcome to uh, part three of Santi's Winter Releases 2024. I am here with uh, Sonny Sanga, Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sunny, a YouTuber and a friend of Sunny's, and I've been building some really cool apps using the tech over at Sunny, and I'm very excited to learn about yet another feature that you guys have released. And so, yeah, let's dive in. Yeah, we're we're here all day, kind of giving you more stuff to build with. So uh, <laughs> the reason why we're building this is that um, working with content and time is just really hard. Uh, it's just really difficult because often you want you have several changes that you might want to go out at once, like a right. large release you have like, or a big product drop. But also just if you're working on a, a medium change to your site and you need to release something underneath that, that's currently also hard. So we just want to make these things easy for people. Because I know before you had scheduling, uh, and it always was a question of mine, if, for example, I scheduled, let's say, 10 different items to change price on a Black Friday sale, uh, but then if I made a sudden change that the timing was no longer tomorrow, yeah. it was the day after, that was always an issue for me. So I'm wondering, is this going to help me out with that? That's going to that's gonna fix that. It's going to fix that and a bunch of other, of other sort of stuff. So... Um... Santi Studio. Uh, there's a new uh, there's a new button here uh, up in the corner uh, that looks like this. And when you click it, you will find the releases that you have. Uh, right. New feature. So here you see the different ones. So flash sale, flash sale ends, which reverts it. Uh, here again, we're working with Annie Speed, where we've signed her to our team. So we're preparing the big launch where we tell tell the sort of world. Um, or we could make a new one. So just to see how lightweight this is, you can go like, when do you think that it's going to go out? And you're like, Tuesday, the 19th, and then it's the big release. Uh, and then you can give it a description uh, that, to tell people what's going to happen. Right. And, and then here, you can see where all of them are. So this is, this is like the flight control for, for all of your content. You can see when these things are going to go out. And then to answer your question, when you click on one of these, then you can see that it's no longer one thing. It's sort of all of the things. It's uh, right. you can. Yeah. So this is kind of grouping together all of the changes, right? So uh, this is really handy, actually, because I would always sort of schedule one thing or another to go out at different times. But I guess if you've got a massive team, you need to know everything that is changing for Black Friday yeah. in one clean view. This is a nice, cool. Yeah. So here you can like you can schedule, you can add things, you can change things, you can unpublish things uh, as a part of a release. You can basically, make all of these changes to all of the sort of content. But then the the question is though, how do you how do you know what these changes are, and how can you understand how your site is going to look at that point? And I think that's the that's the hard part of this that we've been working a lot on. Right. So is there any way that I could, for example, all of these changes right now? Uh, I guess the, the ultimate goal is we saw preview before, but can I preview all of this in one window uh, to, to kind of see what Black Friday would look like, for example? That's what you can. So here we're looking at these different things. So here we're like clicking through to home and then we, we get to the home page. And as we did this through the release listing, now the studio has like a purple top bar and it says like any speed launch. And this is because this is the release that we are that we are looking at. And any edits that you add to sort of this will go out as a part of that release. Right. Same goes so for I, presentation. So if I click through on the top right and I basically was to click between flash cell, flash cell and any speed, it will show me the different variants or different versions releases. Exactly. 
Oh, nice. It shows you the different releases. It shows you the future at that point in sort of time. I have a question. So if you were, for example, had a hero banner that's only existing for a Black Friday sale, uh, would it also be, if I was to move th different things around on the page, would that also be changed in each of these releases? So the location of different components as well. Uh, each document is a version and the version is applied completely for each release. So that's the version of the front page for the anti speed launch. And that's what we're looking at here. Nice. That's really cool. So here, so for example, if you want to compare this to the published uh, version, uh, to all the published versions, uh, you can go to published. This is because the home page also exists in, in that in that version. And then you get this and this is what it currently looks like. We we just saw with sort of presentation, uh, the updates to presentation that you can make custom components. Well, this site has a custom component that shows you future changes uh, to components. So this changes with flash sale tomorrow. Nice. So you can be like, what does that look like? Is that, is that, is that um, can I see that only in the presentation mode? Is that for like somebody in the presentation sort of? Suite? Yeah, yeah, this is only for the presentation mode. So. Nice. Here you can then click on flash sale. Someone's been busy uh, for the flash sale. The website is completely re rethemed. It's red, has other products, other things going on. So here you can just like drop into that, check it out, see if it looks sort of right, and see who's been working on it, what all of the what all of the changes are. Nice. This is really convenient. It's just a super convenient way of making sure that it is the right thing. And this is obviously stacked with the current versioning, where I could see if, let's say, Evan changed. XYZ over here, I can see that you changed that. I can see that somebody else changed something else, all in the version. Exactly. Nice. Cool. Exactly. You can diff, uh, you can diff and see what the history is of all of these versions to see who's been working on sort of what. Really nice. So here we're going to the to the big release that we just made. So we the home page isn't actually a part of it. So we're doing that first. So then we can like start looking at it and be like, uh, hmm, what changes do we want to make? And the problem here, though, is that we don't know if the anti speed launch is actually going to happen. And it's right. making it hard for us to think about that future change because it, it might not, right? Um, right? So here we can just like, as if this was Photoshop, we could just go into the list of releases and tick those off and remove them. And then we get, we actually go back to the flash sale ends. So this is what the website looks like at the end of the flash sale. Uh, if the any speed stuff doesn't happen and then we can go in and we can make the changes that we want to make to the to the front page we can like add a component make sure that it looks the way we want it to look and then get that previewed and send it off to stakeholders and make sure that everyone's good with with exactly this thing that's really cool i guess that gives you the ability to forward schedule even if an event wasn't to to go forward or not uh, otherwise otherwise you'd be blocked by the annie's event right Exactly. And it's also like it's also like if someone is working, say that I'm working on something that goes out end of sort of week and someone yeah. else is working on something that's going out on Wednesday, if they aren't done with their stuff, if they're if that's still in sort of progress, I won't be able to preview the future in a clear way without removing their sort of stuff. So this is a way of you can sort of clear out stuff that's happening before the thing that you want to to, to sort of see. Because all of these things we show you not only the future release, but also all of the other ones up to that point in time. Nice, very clever addition. What if, for example, though, like I was to uh, schedule in a flash sale, uh, for example, the flash mm. sale is live right now, flash yeah. sale and can I lock it in? Like, as in, so nobody can change anything. Is that like, I can just imagine that if I had a release coming up and somebody came in and changed something last second, like would that, that yeah. would throw me off, yeah. It's really it's it's something that's really stressful, right? Because you want to make sure that uh, everything is 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 locked down. You want to make sure that no one can come in and change some something. So you like you look through, you check all the typos. You big organizations run it through legal, and then you're sort of like we we got it. Uh, and then what you can do then is that you can actually go you can go to the release, verify all of the stuff, and then you can actually lock in the schedule. And right. this will run through the documents in the studio, make sure they're all valid, and then it will take the references uh, and check them on the server. It will check that you have the rights uh, to actually publish all of these documents, and then it will 
lock it in and it will mark them as read only on the API. So there's no way of changing any of these things before it goes out. And this again is to, because we, I mean, we talk to people who work across time zones and they're like, could you, could you make it so I don't need to get up at 5 a.m.? Would be very yeah. good. Thank you. I can only imagine e-commerce stores everywhere have that issue yeah. where, you know, the sales going out and it's 3 a.m. your time or my time and it's 5 a.m. your time or whatever it is. I can imagine that'd be a big issue. So yeah, that's, I can imagine that'd be very, very helpful for a lot of people. Nice. So how can I get my hands on this right now? I want to, obviously I'm pretty excited. I mean, you've showed a bunch of different features. Uh, you mentioned the, the earlier two features are available now. What about releases? When can I play with that? Yeah, we're still baking that. So we are looking at getting something in, into early access uh, towards the holidays, maybe a little bit after. Nice. Thank you for demoing all the features. I knew oh, I would get some features today, but uh, this is absolutely awesome stuff. Can't believe what you guys are building. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to go ahead and dive into it and see what we can do. Thank you. It was super fun to uh, show you this stuff. Yeah.